Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday, February 9th, 2022, when I'm filming this. It's minus 8 Celsius outside this morning, or 17 and a half Fahrenheit, Google says. We'll just round it up to 18. 18 Fahrenheit. We're looking for a roll tight. There's one right there, but the last time I tried to hook onto that one, the brakes were frozen. Now that probably is fixed by now, but I'm gonna see if I can find a different one. <laughs> That'll be a last resort. I see one over there. Uh, I don't think there's any others on this side. This is the empty line up here. That's the loaded and empty. So that one might be empty, but it also might be loaded. So I'm gonna do a little loop here, swing around and uh, take a peek into the front door. We'll see, if it's empty, I'm taking that one. It's a step deck, but we'll deal with it. So what do you guys figure? You think it's gonna be empty? Place your bets right now. It's gonna be empty or is it gonna be loaded? It could be either. The suspense, it's trailer 411 DTLR. How's it going, bud? You wanna be friends? I'd like to be friends. One second here, let me, let me, let me undo my seatbelt from coming across the yard, just in case I didn't want to fall out, you know? Safety first. Oh, oh, and it's empty. It's a mess. It's a mess, but it's empty. Okay. Well, messes can be cleaned up. That can be cleaned up. That's no problem. I trust this trailer more than I do that one over there. Like I said, the last time I tried to hook onto that one over there, the brakes were all frozen. And we had a warm day yesterday, so I'm guessing that's probably dealt with by now. But, that's a problem for another day. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the trailer that's not frozen. How about that? See if I can latch onto it here from an angle. Get myself straight. Oh, I need to clean this window. There we go, there we go. Cut her hard, cut her hard! Oh. There we go. Oh, wonderful. What a beautiful day. Look at this. The sun is, it's up there somewhere. It's great, it's great, it's a beautiful day. Ooh, nice. Newer gloves, they're dirty already, but they're nice and soft on the inside. That's nice. All right. Giggity, giggity. Let's go. Let's go, all right. Oh. Attach the airlines. There you go. Catch this. Oh, 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 there you go. Beautiful. One more, one more. Come on. Oh, ah, oh, yes. Okay, let's fill the trailer up with air and see what happens. It's exciting. Lights are on. That's good. And fill the trailer with air. Grab this, grab that. This, grab that. Okay. Now we can go check. Nope, hazards, that's what I was. There we go. I knew there was one more thing to do. All right, we're gonna roll these landing gear up first so we don't forget. I always do that first, you know? Just in case. I am a human being and sometimes I forget things. I've never forgotten to, uh, I've never like driven away and like drag these on the ground. I've almost forgotten before. I've been driving for 15 years. I mean, lots has happened, but <laughs> I've never damaged anything because if you drive away with those down still, you could break them right off or bend them or damage them. And thankfully that hasn't happened to me yet. I shouldn't have said yet. Thankfully that hasn't happened to me and will never happen to me because I take extra precautions. Ow, what was that all about? Roll these things up. I always do this first so that I know for sure after I check to make sure that that's locked in, right? As I'm walking past here, I can see that the pin is locked in and I'll do a tug test before I leave. Come on, come on. You know, some trailers out there have automatic landing gear. They're uh, air powered. So you fill the trailer with air and you just push a button and the landing gear come up. The problem with that is in wintertime, sometimes they freeze and get stuck. <laughs> and then you can't go anywhere. Okay, there we go, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Give myself a hand. Okay. What do we got going on here? Lots of winches. 
Why are they? There's like non non-stop winches all the way across here. It's crazy. Got our lights, lights, signal. There it is. Right underneath here. There you go. I'm gonna make sure this trailer's all filled with sure the tires are all filled with air, as they should be. Uh-huh. Yep, and uh the side of the trailer has an adequate amount of road dirt and grime on it. That is satisfactory for winter time. Very good. Very good. If it was too clean, that would be suspicious. Okay. Now back here. Signals are working. Brake lights are working. Marker lights are working. Everything is latched up except for this one right here. Hey, you little buddy. Sorry, I can't leave you like that. That's, there you go. Oh, and we got a lot of snow on this side here. Okay. Come on. Let's just uh, make our way through here. Come on. This trailer hasn't left in a while, eh? All filled with air. You know, my favorite tires are the ones that don't have holes in them. I always like those tires better. Sorry if you're getting a bit of wind noise. The wind is coming from behind me. I'm trying to shield you from it, but... My head isn't that big, though some people might say it is. Double check. Alright. Okay. Whew. So I've just got to do some cleaning up. Do my paperwork on this trailer, check a few more things. I'm gonna be good to go best part of the day hands down when you finally get to trucking oh it's been a messy couple of days though because it's been so warm that's a thing you just can't win whoa 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 slippery slippery okay all right the truck is just reminding me hey wait a second we're driving on a hockey rink right now calm down that's what i mean you got to be able to feel the truck beneath you after a while of driving you begin to feel every little slip, even if the truck's not sliding sideways or, you know, locking up or anything, you can feel the little slips that shouldn't be there if you weren't on the ice. You feel them before they become problems, you know? Because once you start losing control, sliding all over the place, well, then it's a problem. You want to be able to feel your truck and feel the ice before it reaches that point. What was I talking about, though? But yeah, it's, we can't win in Manitoba. Either you get, like I said, dry highways, clear skies, minus 50, or you get uh, warm weather, but blizzards. And if you don't get those, there's another one I could add to that. Warm weather and messy highways and two jugs of washer fluid a day. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for summer. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I wanna go to a couple of motorcycle rallies or something this summer. Like I want to do something, even if I just like, uh, I want to continue on that motorcycle, uh, what's that, what's that website called again? I showed it to you guys last summer, where you uh, go and see all the sites of Manitoba or something. I don't know, we'll talk about it in summertime. Oh, they got the roads salted, so the roads are dry, that's good. Well, not dry, but cleared, I mean. I know what's wrong with it. They ain't got no gas in it. All right, one sec, I want to hear my pipes. Oh, the, there we go. That is the sound of happiness. Yes. Oh, do you smell those diesel fumes too? That's the smell of happiness. So update, two minutes down the road, still a hockey rink, it actually got worse. But what's weird here, I'm just going over this bridge over our floodway, this uh, diverts the Red River around Winnipeg, saves us, saves the city from flooding at the cost of people outside the floodway, but another story for another day. This bridge actually has less ice on it than the road. Which is weird because usually it's the opposite. Usually the the heat from the ground will melt the ice on the road before the bridge because the bridge, the air can pass underneath it. 
so it doesn't get any of that ground warmth. It's also different materials, you know, usually they have asphalt down here on the, uh, on the ground and they have cement up on the, which ices up faster. Does that make sense? I don't think that made sense. I'm just trying to listen to myself talk. I don't think that made sense. But you, you know that ice usually builds up on bridges faster, right? And you just gotta be extra careful on the bridges. It just seems to be the opposite today. It's weird. Maybe it's opposite day. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's we, what's we got going on over here? Yikes, these roads are icy. And we got three cars in the ditch here and one pickup truck. I'm gonna pull them out. I wish I had my pickup truck here too. I would help them out. Always have a tow rope in my truck. Look at this. Got one in the left, one on the right. One over here. Yikes. And look at this. I know the, the camera probably doesn't do it much justice. But uh, this is a skating rink. This is a hockey rink right here. Like I always say, should have brought my skates. Whew. Yeah. Even at this speed, I can, I can definitely tell. This is the perimeter highway around Winnipeg, though. The east side, so Winnipeg's right over there. Just to our left. This highway is always bad. All the way around the city. Always. It's like they installed magnets for bad weather. Yikes. I can't even... Just feathering the pedal at 1,000 RPM and my tires will let loose. So this is as fast as we'll be going. Good thing I left real early. I'll still be there on time. The road won't be this bad forever. It's just... This highway, for some some reason, the perimeter highway around Winnipeg is always, always bad. But all the other roads are, are good. I don't know, maybe they gotta start using the good salt on this highway too, you know? Some of the busiest highways in Manitoba. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell right now because there's nobody here, so. Oh, you got somebody coming past me now. He has no idea how icy it is. Or maybe he does and he's just a daredevil. Okay, bud, you do you, all right? You just leave me out of it. Don't you hit me. There you go, bud. Have fun, all right? Oh, there's another car, a couple of cars in the ditch up here. You can see there was one in the ditch here just recently. It's been pulled out. It's not gonna be me. I want to see who these are up here. Or how it happened. I hope that it wasn't bad. I always hate to see it when people roll into the ditch, especially in wintertime. Because if you're upside down, you can't leave your car running. And you could freeze right away. And if you see a car upside down in the ditch and the people are there, you definitely want to stop and let them stay inside your cab and warm up. You've got to keep them warm. Because they're already in a bad situation being in the ditch. You don't want them to freeze too. Well, these ones already have police tape on them, so they've been here a little while. Just keep putz putzing along. I got my please don't hit me flashers on, so people know I'm going slower, much slower than the posted speed limit. Posted speed limit here is 100 kilometers an hour. I'm doing 50. So I'm doing 30 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour zone because of road conditions. That's why I have my hazards on. I've been asked a few times in my comment section why I put my hazard lights on. They're not required by law. I wouldn't get a ticket for not having them on. It's just a courtesy to drivers coming up behind me. Just to be like, hey, slow moving vehicle. Watch out, heads up, put your phone down. Something's going on up here. Okay, here the highway's starting to get better again. You see that? Good, good, good. Alright, help me later guys. I need to 
pull on that door for me, would you? There you go. Let's just uh, go in here and double check our load. I just got back. Want to make sure that nothing fell. And I trust myself enough that I didn't even uh, check first. <laughs> if it was going to be all over the place, you guys would have seen it. But uh, no, so we've got one, two, three, four pieces here. Another four pieces back there. And all the parts and stuff for it here. The stuff is going to, one second, let me find the, uh, if you guys care. I mean, I'm not care enough. This is going to Miami, Oklahoma. Not Miami, Florida. And not Miami, Manitoba. There's a Miami in Manitoba. Believe me, it doesn't have palm trees though. It's not as, it's not as nice as the Florida Miami. Don't tell anyone I said that because I'm a true proud Manitoban. Okay. I think all of this is going, yeah, all of this is going to the same place. I can't wait for summer to get here so I can wash out the inside of these trailers. Every time I come in here, I'm just like, Ugh! I feel like I gotta go have, wash my hands. That's why I wear gloves. I'm not a germaphobe. I don't really, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the dirt. I just, everything always looks a lot better clean. You guys have heard this spiel from me more than once. I'm gonna tell you again. So I've already detached everything. Just wanted to quickly take a look in there. Make sure that my strapping job had held. It was an extremely icy, uh, slippery day out there on the roads. And of course there was the people out there driving like it was the middle of summer. And you know, you had nice, sticky, hot asphalt beneath you uh, with great traction. And that just wasn't the case. It's scary the way some people drive out there. And, uh, but we made it through our day. We got there, we didn't hit anything. And uh, got our freight loaded up, it's ready to go. And uh, the next day is gonna be a, a better day. This week has been, uh, uh, not a little overwhelming, but you know, everything going on right now across the country and stuff, I've been keeping up with everything as uh, best that I can. And it's, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, right on cue, of course. It's been exhausting to keep up with everything. I've been getting good sleeps, but uh, I just feel like I could use a weekend, a good weekend just to sleep, like the whole time, just through the entire weekend, just hibernate. That would be great, but we'll see what happens. Uh, didn't have the usual spunk, I guess, in my videos this week. I just got a lot on my mind and everything, and... Uh, and we'll come through everything. We'll come through everything just fine. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. I'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out today.